What is up team and welcome back to another episode. Now, I want to kick off by apologizing for the lack of energy. I'm running on about 20 minutes of sleep in the last two days. Been working hard, been working on some really big things uh, that I'll have to do with, well, this group. Today, I'm going to be talking about this indicator uh, that not many people know about. I don't even know if I want to call it an indicator, but it's more of a tool. It's a tool to help you gauge uh, strength within the overall market. And at a glance, if you pull this up and you have it on the side of your screen, uh, it gives you an idea for what's happening, like I said, within the overall market, which is then going to help you know what's happening within your positions. OK, so this tool is called ticker symbol T-I-C-K. OK, so these are the ticks. So you do the dollar sign T-I-C-K. And it's not going to look like this right away. I'm just going to walk you through exactly how this works, how you're going to use this to gauge the overall market. I like calling it like the overall market's fuel tank, if you will. So by being able to read these candles in between these different dollar values, okay, or these different number values, uh, we're able to gauge overall sentiment within the market, okay, whether buyers are stepping in, whether the market is selling off, all right, selling pressure, buying power, essentially. What we're going to want to do is I want to first start by, let's just clear my chart here and uh, we'll make it look like it's gonna look when you pull it up first. All right, when you type in dollar sign T-I-C-K, you're more than likely going to see this, okay? It's gonna be on the one minute. Uh, I like looking at the ticks on the five minute. Okay, and on the bottom here, I've got QQQ, I've got SPY, and I've got IWM all on the one minute time frame. Uh, now, you could put these on the five minute, but correlation, um, it doesn't matter if it's exactly the same time frame. The ticks and, you know, the different sectors don't have to be on the same time frame. But I'm using these as an example to show you uh, how the ticks gauge how the overall market is moving and how you can buy at a glance, uh, be able to read the different levels within the ticks, know what is happening within the overall market. Okay. So, we're gonna first want to go to drawing, drawing tools, okay? Click on price level. Now, um, you just drag it back here, doesn't matter. Going to edit properties, and uh, we're gonna add the first value, uh, which is gonna be 600. And this is going to be colored red, okay? So positive 600, red, we're gonna change the style to just a solid line, and uh, the width doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna do that once again. Okay, edit properties. This is going to be, once again, red, but negative 600, okay? So negative 600, fill that in, perfect. And then we want another line, and this line is going to be blue, and the value is negative 1,000. And then we're gonna go back up here, Value positive a thousand. Again, same thing. Blue style. Fill it in. Perfect. So this is today. Uh, okay, the gray line right here is pre-market and aftermarket. So this, what's happening right within these two gray lines, is today. Same thing down here on the one minute. So anything in between positive six hundred and negative six hundred is essentially the market kind of finding a balance with buying power and selling pressure. Uh, you can see the market is kind of trading range bound, if you will, um, and has been for the last you know, hour, give or take. Uh, and you can see the ticks have been you know, roughly staying in between this positive 600 and negative 600 level. Now, anything above positive 600 means that buyers are coming in. Okay. There, there are buyers coming into the market. The market's fuel tank is heating up. The market is pushing. Okay. So when spy starts pushing, IWM starts pushing, QQQ starts pushing, the ticks are going to start pushing up toward that positive a thousand. Okay. Line, the positive a thousand line right there. If the opposite was to happen and the market was to start pulling back. Okay. Sellers are stepping in. People are selling off their positions. Okay. Overall market is pulling back. The ticks are going to start dipping down toward that negative 1,000 level. Now today, relatively has been, eh, I would say pretty, uh, you, you would look at this chart and say, oh, it's a choppy day, but if you've seen the market this entire week, today is a relatively calm day. Now, the ticks, I don't know if neutral is the right word to use here, but ticks have remained within that 
you know, positive 600, negative 600 level without making any breaks. You can see we've slightly broken above and below 600s, but we have yet to touch the thousands today on either side of the spectrum. Whereas yesterday, you could see uh, the text breaking up above through that 1000 level. So market really rallying with a lot of strength, buyers coming in strong. And so I think you're starting to understand the correlation uh, between how, well, at a slight glance, you can look at these ticks, see based off of where they're trading within these different values, where the overall market is, or where the strength is currently within the overall market. Now, one thing you could do is you can minimize this gadget and have it up on the corner of your chart, or you can you know, pull it up and look at it nice and big as I do if you have multiple screens. Let's just look at market open here. Now, obviously we had a very strong pullback, okay, resulting in a rally, you know, a couple minutes after market open. So if we look here, you can see market opens, okay, ticks start to dip a bit, okay, relatively uh, neutral on the day. You can see we start rallying up toward that, okay, positive 600 level. You know, we get this rally, boom, positive 600, we start making a couple breaks, uh, and we continue pushing with minor pullbacks uh, throughout the morning session. Now you might think, hey, looking at these candles, this seems like a very strong rally. You know, why didn't we push into that 1000 level? And that's simply because, well, the ticks are, again, it's like the overall fuel tank of the market. There was not enough buying power uh, in the market at the time, even though it may look like it on the chart to push toward that thousand range. Sorry, I just went into yesterday. Um, and whereas like you could see, we saw this pretty large sell off, okay, pullback, since then have rebounded, um, ticks dipping uh, down to that $600 and slightly below that 600 uh, value level. Now in correlation to the chart, uh, we can just line up the timestamps here and you can see exactly when that was. All right, I'm gonna go back and look at yesterday. Uh, you can see QQQ, SPY, IWM, the ticks from yesterday. All right, market opens, pull back, we form a low, daily low on QQQ, daily low on SPY, daily low on IWM. Ticks dipping almost to that negative $1,000 range. So sellers were coming in very hot. Now, it's important to note that if ticks dip below that negative 600 and they start to trade below that negative 600, tapping on that negative 1,000 or even trading on the negative 1,000, then that is a very good sign that the market is looking very weak. You see that on open. Uh, sometimes if you do see that on open, uh, that would give you a good understanding that the market, the strength within the overall market is not there. If you are long on a position, well, you might use this as an indicator to exit that position. Whereas on the other hand, uh, if the market opens and we see this large rally and ticks start uh, trading on that $1,000 level, well, buyers are hot. The market is running, okay? We've got buyers coming in. Whereas on the other hand, uh, you know, if you see, on open, ticks start pushing, or sometime throughout the day, ticks start pushing and start trading up above that $600 level and trading on that 1,000 or above that $1,000 level, positive 1,000, then you know that the market has a lot of strength behind it. If you're long on a position, that's great, right? But if you're short, well, shoot, this might be a time to get out of your short because the overall market is showing a lot of strength. Buyers are coming in and the market is holding that level. So using this pretty, what I would call basic concept of uh, both buying power and selling pressure, buyers and sellers, market strength, we're able to you know, use this tool, the ticks, and uh, help us maybe uh, at a quick glance, know where the market is for either reassurance or just checking out our positions or to even manage our positions, okay? If you're a day trader or even a scalp trader, this tool may be very helpful to you. Feel free to, you know, rewind this video, watch that a couple times, go over the setup again, you know, draw the lines, add the colors, add the values. It's not that difficult. And then, you know, save this tool so you don't have to do it every time you go on your TOS. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. That's going to wrap it up. This was a quick one and uh, it's good it's a quick one because I the sleep is catching up on me. Let's just say that. If you guys are interested in learning more about trading, I will put the first link in the description to my mentorship group in which I teach you the exact trading strategy that I use to find success in the market. And I also share my personal trades, including entries and exits in real time. So click that link, check it out. 
And make sure to check out our weekly podcast. We post every Friday and these weekly YouTube episodes every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With that said, I hope you guys did enjoy. I will see you all in next week's episode. Later.